It is the biggest match the Brandon University men's volleyball team has ever hosted. The opponent, a program that sets the bar high, the Trinity Western Spartans, clashing like two titans, but there can only be one winner. The conference championship is on the line. It is a one-game showdown to decide who will carry the Canada West Championship banner into Nationals in Quebec City next week. The top two teams in the country are going head-to-head -head at the Healthy Living Centre with the number one Bobcats welcoming the number two Trinity Western Spartans. Both teams have already qualified for the U Sports Tournament running March 15th to 17th. This will be the biggest match that I've ever been a part of. Um, I think that's, a, that's true for a lot of the guys here and we're just going to go over race at all, take from it what we can, play our hearts out, and then uh, move on to Laval. The Bobcats' playoff run has gone entirely through the Healthy Living Centre. BU swept Calgary in the quarterfinals before taking out Mount Royal in a semifinal series that went the distance. The third and deciding match against the Cougars saw over 1,400 fans in attendance. We've seen that we've got, we can get beat, and uh, I think uh, it's always good to know that uh, you're not unbeatable and that uh, teams can beat you but I think being number one and uh, having that confidence behind you uh, is also nice too and so there's a little bit of both and uh, so we'll just come in focused and ready to go for our Friday night match. The tale of the tape between Brandon and Trinity includes the Bobcats winning twice in straight sets at the start of January. It was the opening matches of 2019 for both teams. Do you put any stock into that at all? Uh, no, not really. I mean, yeah, we beat them twice before but they're, they're a great team. They're well coached and they're going to be better than they were last time. Trinity's record was 18-4, and four, finishing second behind the Bobcats, who went 20-2. and two. The Spartans roster includes Manitoba standout Eric Lepke, who was named a first-team conference all-star. The Steinbach product led the conference in hitting percentage and service aces per set. He also finished fifth in kills per set. He can just beat you in so many different ways, and so we know we can't, uh, you know, shut him out. So we just got to find ways to try to slow him down and take advantage of the times that we do. The Bobcats are back in the conference final for the first time since 2013 when they capture the program's first ever Canada West title. Meanwhile, the Spartans have won three straight league titles and are making their eighth consecutive appearance in the conference final. So who's going to win the West? That's the burning question. We have the postseason records to this point. Both the Spartans, the Bobcats 4-1, and one, Lauren White alongside. Break it down. Well, it's uh, almost impossible to break down. There's like a hair of difference between these two teams. I mean, one team might be slightly better with their defense, one other slightly better with their blocks, but they are so evenly matched. Uh, I think it's going to lead to a very exciting game tonight. Absolutely going to be electrifying. That's the word that mm. comes to mind when you take a look at this massive crowd here at the Healthy Living Center. 1,400 last Saturday for the semifinals, 1,400 and up here tonight. Yeah. T. Cray, Lauren alongside for the broadcast. The Spartans team is a powerhouse year in, year out. Let's hear from the visitors. The Trinity Western Spartans were road warriors during the regular season. The Spartans had a conference high 10 wins and matches away from Langley, B.C. Their only setbacks were two straight set losses against the Bobcats at the HLC back in January. How do you feel in the matchup with Brandon? Uh, they're, they're really good. So um, They've been number one all year. They got player of the year, rookie of the year. Um, yeah, it's going to be really tough, but um, I'm excited for the atmosphere and the fans. I've heard are really good here, so um, yeah, I just hope it'll be a good game. Trinity reached the conference final after defeating the defending national champions, the UBC Thunderbirds, in a best-of-three quarterfinal that went the distance. The Spartans then swept the Thompson Rivers Wolfpack in the semifinals. We've had some injuries, so it's been maybe a little 
uh, tougher than we anticipated uh, throughout the year, but I think we're coming together at a nice point in the season, and yeah, I want to see how these next two weekends play out. Trinity has already punched their ticket for nationals, hosted by the Laval Rouge Or next week. They are five-time national champions. The Spartans are also looking for a four-straight Canada West title. That's an accomplishment that hasn't been achieved in the conference in a quarter century. What is the most exciting, the most exciting part about this time of year? Uh, it, the, the finality of it. I mean, all, all season long, if you lose a game, there's you get a chance to get ready for next night or the next weekend. Now it's it's over. Like it, This is what we've been thinking about for a year, just trying to win this championship game and then get into next week and win that championship. And, and But if you don't, the, the, the stakes are so high. It's just so exciting. I mean, we're all we're all nervous and our butterflies are going crazy and kind of feel a little nauseous at times. And that's what makes sports special is when you have a chance to lose something you really, really care about. That's when the great performances happen. But that's also when people break and that's just what makes it so exciting is somebody's going to be heartbroken tonight someone's going to be excited and the rawness of that emotion is what sport's all about well it's awfully loud in here I barely hear myself think to be quite honest with you i think we're going to go downstairs our pa announcer matthew higgs starting lineups of canada all that good stuff Great night of Canada West Volleyball. Tonight's contest is a big one, as it's the much-anticipated Canada West Championship between the top two ranked teams in the country, the Trinity Western Spartans and your Brandon Bobcats. Before we begin, BU Athletics would like to acknowledge that we respect the treaties that were made on these lands and acknowledge that Brandy University is located on Treaty 2 lands. On behalf of Brandy University, we welcome you to the traditional lands of the Dakota, Anishinaabek, Oji Cree, Cree, Dene, and Métis people. We'll now draw your attention to the score table for a special presentation. Before the start of last week's semifinal series, we recognize the Canada West All-Stars and All-Rookie teams. Tonight, we can add to that, as the four major Canada West Individual Conference Awards for Outstanding Achievement all went to members of your Brandon Bobcats. Joining us to present the Canada West Awards this evening is BU Interim President and Vice Chancellor, Dr. Stephen Robinson. We'll call up all four winners, beginning with Canada West Rookie of the Year, number eight, Robin Baghdadi. The Student Service Award for Outstanding Achievement goes to Brandon's own number seven, Seth Friesen. This year's Canada West Coach of the Year, his second Coach of the Year Award, give it up for Grant Wilson. And the most valuable player in the Canada West Conference goes to number 10, Elliot Viles. Fans, give it up one last time for your Brandon Bobcats and the four individual award winners, Robin Baghdadi, Seth Friesen, Grant Wilson, and Elliot Viles. At this time, we ask that you please rise if you're able to and remove all hats and headwear and join us for the singing of our national anthem to be sung tonight by Rebecca Dreger. With glowing hearts we see thee rise, the 
true nor strong and free from far and wide oh canada we stand on guard for thee god keep our land glorious and free oh canada we stand on guard for thee Time now for your starting lineups. Introducing first from the Trinity Western Spartans. Number five, Brody Hofer. Number eight, Eric Lepke. Number 11, Carter Bergen. Number 14, Aaron Betcher. Number 15, Jacob Kern. Number 17, Jackson Howe. And number 20, Derek Epp. The head coach is Ben Josephson. For tonight's contest are Wendy Radcliffe, Donovan Nemtachuk, Keith Braxma, Alicia Semler Boltzer. Tonight's second referee is Chris Yarmkowicz, and first referee is Terrace Airq. Well, you got goosebumps at home watching this. You got tears rolling down your cheeks. This is unbelievable. Canada West Championship is on the line here at Brandon University's beautiful, healthy living center. And it is absolutely packed to the rafters for this one. Yeah, Bobcats no. looking for that first championship since 2013. Spartans looking for a four-peat, if they can do that. They'll match the Calgary Dinos from 1991 to 1994 to win four consecutive Canada West championships. Tyler Crayston, Lauren White alongside, and we're about ready to get things underway here at the HLC. One game, winner take all. And it's got to be a different mindset, Lauren. Oh. Not a best of three, it's just one and that's it. It's um, pretty exciting. It's just, I mean, this is volleyball. You play your whole season, you put everything out on the line, and it comes down to one game. Not a series, not a best of. This is it. And I think I, if these players aren't pumped up tonight, there's got to be something wrong with them. This is the kind of stuff that you train for, practice for, that you look at when you're a high school volleyball player or 
or something. I mean, I've got chills just talking about this game. And now we've got our first serve. It is the Swiss Cyborg. Robin Baghdadi, we are underway. They go into the middle. It's Jackson Howe delivering early for Trinity Western. And Howe will head to the service line here. They're lined up all over the place with the serve going out to Robin Baghdadi. Dixon goes into the middle. <laughs> and James Weir, the moose, puts that one away. And the fifth year Bobcat co-captain will serve. That is James Weir with the serve. Goes right down the middle to Hofer. On the outside, they go to Lepke. On the move and on the run. Bobcats keep it alive. And this is a free ball here for Trinity. Back row attack. Off hands. Oh, just out of the reach of James Weir. And the Spartans pick up the point. for both teams tonight. We'll be staying organized in transition, and especially with such a loud crowd here tonight. It's going to be very hard for the players to hear themselves and to call any changes in, uh, in the plays. Derek Epp, he served. Dixon goes to Friesen. Fireball that hits the top of the roof with a vapor trail behind it. They got thunder sticks. They've got cowbells. Oh. They've got the hand clappers. Got empty water jugs with drumsticks hitting them. They got everything here. They got the air in their own lungs. They're doing it all here. Floating through the air majestically was Kern to send it over. Here's Friesen again. It's back on the Trinity side. They'll run the offense. They go to Lepke. <laughs> Eric Lepke, the Manitoba superstar, scores for the Spartans. The very quick tempo right side goal. Lepke, we had him in our pre-match show. First team conference all-star. Third year outside hitter for Trinity Western. And the serve goes too far. And the crowd goes crazy. And those fans <laughs> sitting on the end lines over there, they're up close and personal here. And they're going to have to have a force field around them with some of those massive serves coming their way. Seth Friesen, the Brandon product, serves. And he went at Bergen with a back row attack. Oh, oh good gravy. Lepke hammers that one. That dents the floor here at the HLC. That is a tempo I don't think the Bobcats have seen quite often other than in their own practices. For a pipe ball, that was hardly above a middle height. That was very impressive to see. 56 kills to lead the Spartans in the postseason did Lepke have so far. Floating through the air, flying, swinging. Back on the Brandon side, running offense. Dixon, quick move to Mason Metcalf. Oh, wow, yeah, kept no. alive. Fantastic defense by Trinity. Here's a reach down to the floor. It goes. It is back and forth here. First set just getting started. You see Bryce Wilson, assistant coach. Cleaning up the floor. Picking up something off the canvas. Second ref making sure the uh, bench players stay in their square. So Metcalf will serve. He's been a part of some big points here for the Bobcats. That one had a little bit of a tail on it. Trying to get it through the block. No, that was a triple. Brandon blocked at the Spartans. Could not get past. And Metcalf back to serve again. M squared, the pride of Carmen. Former Cougars high school star. Went with Hofer on the serve into the middle. Oh, so kind of an hard. awkward readjusting on the shot with Jackson Howell. But he's an expert at these things. And he puts oh, yeah. it away. He knew exactly where to put that ball. Quick thinking. To make it 5-5. And it's Jacob Kern. Kern prepared to serve here for Trinity. Skims the top of the tape. Had enough momentum to carry over. And then dialing it up from long distance was Kern. Finds the seam. No effort made for the Bobcats on that point. Kern back to serve again. One point lead. That one's into the mesh. 6-6. We're all tied up. 
the irresistible force meeting the immovable object here so far in the first set. 6-6 six, six tie between the Bobcats and Spartans. Top two teams in all of Canada facing off for the conference title. Back row attack. No, Will not get down. over. Stays on the Spartan side. Here's another chance at it. Oh. Off hands. Out of play it goes. Brody Hofer delivers. Hard for the rest to see that angle. Uh, from the rest point of view, it looks like it's touched a blocker, but the game will go on. And it is Brody Hofer preparing to serve here for the Spartans. Went at Baghdadi. Dixon keeps it alive. Swiss Cyborg sends it over. On the move and on the run was Derek Epp. Then swung at by Lepke. And the Spartans have built up a two-point cushion here. Brody Hofer back to serve again. Here it comes. Spartans up by two at Baghdadi. Bumped up by Friesen. The Swiss Cyborg with the roll Whoa. shot. Diving at it to keep it alive was Kern. Here goes Lepke again. Oh, on the net. A little too close, but he went after it. He's going to appreciate that. So, when the smoke clears, it's a Bobcats point. Robin Baghdadi will serve. Rookie of the year in the conference. Second star of the week in Canada West is the Swiss standout. Whoa. He serves at Hofer. On the move and on the run. They go back to Kern. No go that time. 8-8. Eight, eight. We're all tied up again. Robin Baghdadi back to serve. Calm, cool, collected. Baghdadi sends it over. Diving at it was Hofer. There goes Lepke. There's Brady Nolf, the defensive specialist. Back to Friesen on offense. No, stop. Kept alive. That was old note on defense. Swung at. Kept alive. Oh, losing the handle on it. Right at the last second was Derek F. He was in hot pursuit. He had it. Just uh, lost it at the last second, Lauren. It's things like that that just happen to happen when you're in front of a crowd like this. That communication kind of gets lost between players and uh, gets thrown off a little bit. And Baghdadi back to serve again. Oh, that had a no. lot of momentum on it. Here goes Lepke. Off hands. Out of play it goes. 9-9 nine, nine, tie. So it's Jackson Howe back to serve. One game for all the marbles here. The crown our Canada West champion. Diving at it was Dixon floating through the air majestically. It was Viles. He stopped. They're going to try the other side. And you, oh, oh, wow. Well, that was a great pancake play by Jacob Kern. Bumped up by Nolt. And no choice oh, but to send boy. it over. So this is a free ball for Trinity. They go to the back row. And the cutter cuts out the side door and out of play. time in the season the team is each team is so used to playing with each other setter knows where to go what his hitters are capable of so i think we're going to see some very athletic and really fun plays tonight there's a swing Whoa. and oh wow that was a pass and that was drilled home wide open highway and it's hammered to the ground 10-10 Derek Yap back to serve here for Trinity. Coming at Nolt, Dixon, back row, tip <laughs> to open ground. Yes, it's down. Spartans were in the right place almost at the right time. Looks like he could see that one from miles. Baghdadi using that high volleyball IQ of his to score that point. It's 11 to 10. Bobcats. Dixon with the serve. Swing. By the Spartans, stopped by the Bobcats. Here goes Viles, kept alive. It was off the fingertips of Bergen. Now oh, back row attack. Ball. Oh, wow. Ricochets off all kinds oh. of players on the Bobcats side. On offense again, go the Bobcats. Oh, Pancake by Nolt. And we got a whistle, and it's oh. going to be a Trinity oh, point. Oh, that's a hard one to pull. The crowd is not happy. That was a real close play. Let's oh. take a look at the replay. 
see what we can see from this angle up top. I don't think the ball would have spun like that if it had only hit the ground. It would have kept bouncing behind Brady, but that way it went right up. I think there had to be some fingers under that. And Coach Grant trajectory. Wilson and his fifth-year co-captain having a brief discussion here before we get back into play here in Nolts over to chat with the head official. And this is some crowd here. It was 1,400 last Saturday when the Bobcats won their semifinal match to punch their ticket for the final. And this has taken it up a notch or two for sure. So Lepke, can he clear the mechanism here and serve? He does, and he oh. dials up an ace. Shades of Kevin Costner in For Love of the Game. Billy Chappell. <laughs> Clear the mechanism again. Can Lefke do it? He's done it once. Can he do it again? Oh, that just went out the back door. 12-12. Tell you one thing, these players, all these fans, everybody in the building will sleep soundly tonight, I think. Oh. They go to the outside. One. Stop dead in his tracks there. <laughs> Technical timeout. He's on the horizon here. Floats out of play. Uh, too much excitement running through his veins. So Aaron Betcher, he's responsible here to get this thing over. She he did it. Got over. Dixon. And oh, we're not sure what all happened there on the Brandon side. Nothing good for the Bobcats there. And the Spartans now up 14 to 13. And it's Betcher getting ready to serve again here. That one's into the mesh. I think two points is the biggest lead we've seen. Yeah, definitely, and that's how I expect this game to go. Point for point, back to forth, back and forth, and not too much of a lead. It's already turned out to be a gutter war between the Canada West men's volleyball titans here. There's Hofer, oh. hammers it. A little bit too far, 15-14. Oh, that was very close going for the corner there, but just went long. Mason Metcalf will be responsible for getting this thing over, and no timeouts have been called either so far. Good, just letting the guys play Oh, it wow, that one's twisting, turning, doing all kinds of things. Lepke sends it over. Free ball for the Bobcats, oh, and scoring is the MVP, Elliott Files, 16-14. And we have reached the technical timeout of set. a big point by the Bobcats, there's never a dull moment on the sideline. Where's that charisma? Where's that passion come from with you guys? Oh, that's just um, our personalities, honestly, and uh, just practice, practice on and off the court. Ryland Metcalf and Nigel Tolley are the leaders of the bullpen. The guys on the court do such an unbelievable job and are so amazing, and we just want to match that on the on the sidelines, you know, we want to make sure that not only is the crowd loving the what's going on on the court, but also what's going on in the bullpen. The intensity and pressure has been high on the court, but Metcalf, Tolly, and crew break the ice. Yeah, I think that's really the the intent of what's going on down there. You know, it's one of those things where honestly, I'm, I'm pretty oblivious to it all. I'm more focused on the game. I, I kind of get fed the information after the fact, but uh, yeah, the guys are just trying to keep the mood light you know games are uh, pretty intense and there's a certain amount of stress related to that and uh, I think those guys are just having fun and uh, trying to keep the mood light yeah we love the bullpen around here it's kind of taken on a life of its own their comedic efforts 
Wonder what they got in store down there for the conference final here tonight to keep everybody entertained and on their toes. Out of the technical timeouts, Metcalf serving and it sails too far. So Jake Kern. He'll try and serve through all this noise here. Oh, oh wow. No. It doesn't phase him one bit. He's got ice water in his veins. Does Jacob Kern. Well, Jacob Kern, first team conference all-star. We're finding out why. Trying to dial it up again. Went up Brady Knoll with it. Dixon, back row attack. Oh, it's a fireball of Fury. <laughs> and a massive vapor trail behind it. Oh, man. 17-16 Bobcats. And that one is so nice. We get to see it twice. It brings tears to your eyes. Mm. Beautiful play. Vile serving. That one's gone. Uh, way too often you see a huge, big play like that followed by a service error for the same team, and I wish it wasn't so. 17 Bobcats, 17 Spartans, set one, Canada West Championship. Doesn't Ooh, get much just... better than this. Keeping it alive are the Bobcats. Baghdadi swung away, off hands. Kept up nice and high in the air. Lefty was able to corral it, oh, sent it back oh, over. Oh, that's sky high. Joseph, the net, diving out of his goal, could not keep it going. 18-17 for the visitors, the three-time defending Canada West champions. Trying to make it four in a row. And Brody Hofer responsible. He hammers it at the line. That's way high. Dixon, bag daddy, the cyborg from Switzerland scores. And Robin bag daddy. He's all casual, like it's no big deal, no problem. I'm serving in the Canada West Championship, whatever. Oh, takes oh, a Brandon bounce that, and almost kept alive. I tell you what, we got to give credit to Carter Bergen here. He almost pancaked that, almost kept it alive, then off his foot. Woo. Carter Bergen playing his heart out here at the HLC. He wants to be a Canada West champ. They're going to mop it up. Blood, sweat, tears pouring out of these guys here tonight. And we haven't even reached the snake zone. <laughs> That's 20 and up. Big Daddy wow. unloads that cannon. Into the middle they go. And that is hammered home by Jackson Howe. Looks like no big deal to Jackson. He's just, I'm just going to go back, sir. Do that on the reg. So serving is how. Oh, <laughs> just dodging out of the way. A little matrix movement by Brady Nolt. Slides out of the way. 2019. And it's Saskatoon born. Australian raise. James Weir serving. He wants to have that one back. All right. 20 apiece. All of a sudden, it's a short game to five. I have the feeling it's going to go way past 25 in this set. Derek Epp. And Epp serves. That note with it on the move and on the run was Dixon. Swinging, scoring, fist pump by Seth Friesen, the fourth year outside hitter. 21 20 for the Bobcats. Got another quick chat here with Bergen and the head official as they straighten out those antennas down at court level. Crowd gets a chance to catch its breath a little bit because it's been a fever-ish pace here in set number one at the Healthy Living Center. Brandon University's hosting it. The serve went at Hofer. Over the top of the block went Kern. Dixon flipping it back to Biles. It's dug up by Hofer. Here goes Lepke. Can he score? No off the hands of Biles. Dixon oh. backpedaled a bit. Getting it through. Oh, Friesen was celebrating a little bit too early there. 
are diving. Oh, wow. Great defense by the Bobcats. Back oh row. My God. Oh, man. Oh, wow. Unbelievable. Wait a minute. Oh, oh carry ball. 21 21. Oh, the rest say no. Oh, man. That was unbelievable. Take a look at this. Great work in the truck there, guys. Great oh, work. Oh, yeah. The camera guys. Oh, yeah. Working his heart out down there as well. 21-21, and that serve goes out. We're racing towards magic number 25. So Friesen floats serve that was caught by Bergen. Joseph the net. They're going to go point in favor of the Bobcats. Critical point at that. Friesen's right back to serve with the crowd going crazy. Friesen's serve went at Hofer. Back where it started from with Hofer. Tried to go with the cut shot. Nope, back pedals a bit. Loading up and swinging. Oh, pancake, what a great play by Epp. Here's a chance for the Spartans. They're stopped on one side. They're gonna try that same spot again. Off Dixon, oh Baghdadi tracks it down, oh. Nolts. The heart and soul of Brady Knoll pumping through his chest. 23-22. This is a barn burner. These players just giving it all they've got. They're not even waiting for a whistle to stop playing. They are just playing, chasing down every ball. And it is Aaron Betcher with the serve at Friesen. Dixon goes back to Baghdadi, loading up. Ooh. He's denied. Swiss Cyborg has stopped dead in his tracks. We're all tied up, 23-23. And a timeout is called by head coach Grant Wilson of the Brandon University Bobcats. So this was the season series from the regular season. January 4th and 5th and 2. 3-0 wins for the Bobcats. 25-20. I remember that second set, 27-25, because that changed the whole complexion of the match. 25-23, yep. then the rematch, 25-22, 25-18, But in talking to the guys earlier yep. this week on both sides, they said, Tyler, to be quite honest with you, Take those regular season stat lines, crumple them up, and throw them in the garbage. <laughs> and it doesn't mean anything. Doesn't and mean a thing. proof's in the pudding here in the first That's set. That's right. Both teams have shown up tonight just ready to pour it all on the floor. So, Betcher with the serve at Nolt. Dixon looks around, trying to find the right offensive spot. Oh, good choice. Bag Daddy buries it. 24-23. With the most confidence, he just has a great time swinging out there. All right, we got a serving sub in for the Bobcats. He's come in at this point quite a few times for the Bobcats and always done a great job. Fleming serving. Here we go. Chance to win the opening set for the Bobcats. Back row. Stopped. Brick wall. Bobcats win. drawing first blood. Well, the Bobcats, Spartans, they're writing another chapter in their historic rivalry tonight. And two former captains of the BU men's volleyball team were feeling nostalgic about the whole thing. Highs and lows come with the territory when playing in championship matches. Former five-year men's volleyball player Brendan White experienced both sides of the coin. I think going through both extremes of it really teaches you that you know you've got to keep level-headed. You can't put too much pressure on yourself. You can't put too much pressure on the outcomes and and just take it as it goes and and play your heart out and know that at the end of the day, whatever you did, it's, it's all out on the floor. White is now an assistant coach with the number one 
one ranked Bobcats who host Trinity Western in a one game showdown for the conference title. It's an opponent white nose like the back of his hand. We seem to bring out the absolute best in them and they seem to bring out the absolute best in us and it's, and it's been a backwards and forwards like that all, all five years I played and, and the four years since. In 2011, White and the Bobcats lost on Trinity's home floor as the Spartans captured the national title. You know, I remember going into that game thinking, you know, we're walking out of here as national champions, and, and I'm sure everybody on the team thought that too, but, you know, Trinity Western, once again, they thought the same thing, and they worked as hard as we did and, and came away with it. BU once again met up with Trinity in 2013 at the Canada West Final Four in Edmonton. The Bobcats made history by capturing the program's first ever conference title. Former captain Garrett Popplestone remembers it well. I just remember having this this feeling like, hey, we've worked so hard and and uh, we built this confidence and we knew that we could turn the tables. And I don't think many people uh, predicted that maybe we would be doing that. But uh, uh, our whole team, we believed in each other. We knew we were going to do it. So, um, you know, when we had that final point and it hit the floor, I mean, we just we all felt the excitement and uh, the celebration of that was crazy. White will be on the Brandon Bank. Bench, Popplestone has his ticket. Both echo the same sentiments. I think they just need to keep going, keep believing in each other, and they're going to be successful, absolutely, if they, if they do that. So I have no doubts about that. Wow, what a first set, 25-23, Lauren White. What did you think? Oh, it was, it was just great volleyball. <laughs> this, is, this is what it's about. And uh, when we get the stats here, it looks uh, quite one-sided with BU hitting at 320 and the Spartans going at 170. But that's not what I see. It's not what I feel. I'm feeling like a very powerful match on both sides of the team. Very strategic, very smart. Just uh, each team pulling out all the tools in their tool belt. And I'm just loving it. So stats here at the moment for this set show a little bit of a stronger uh, play by the Bobcats, but that is not what we're seeing here. To be quite honest with you, the way that first set went was like both teams hit over 400. That's what it felt like, yeah. Everyone's hitting over 400, getting blocks, getting aces, but in reality there were uh, 10 missed errors in total from both teams, but that's not what it feels like. So second set is underway after a barn burner of a first, bumped up Ooh. by Brady Nolt. Having to track it down was Viles. Into the middle they go, and a score, and it's Betcher delivering for his Trinity Western Spartans. And Jackson Howe, number 17 for Trinity, will serve here. He goes at freeze and with it. Ooh, oh. Trying to get creative there was Dixon. I think he was in out. kind of a tough spot there. Yeah, I didn't really know what to do. It's not often when you see Reese Dixon not knowing what to do. And two-point lead here for Trinity. Yeah, it's early, but every point so precious with that yeah. Canada West championship hanging in the balance, floating through the air. And it's going to be a point in favor of Trinity Western. Three nothing start. So Jackson Howe, he is getting nice and comfortable there at service line. Mr. Keith Broxma. Standing beside Mr. Jackson Howe. He got the antenna straight. And the Spartans searching for more offense here early. At Friesen again. Dixon, long pass. Oh, my oh, goodness. That was a double brick wall by Trinity. Another chance for them to go up on offense, and that one's drilled. Wow. That one is hammered. Wow. Wow, for players to be on the same page to go off on two like that, that's pretty impressive. And Hofer. Wow. <laughs> That's all I can say about that oh, one. Right back at you round, go the Bobcats. There you go, James Leah. So four to one lead here. Second set, Bobcats lead the match. It's one game for all the marbles, Canada West title. And it's the rookie of the year in the conference, Robin Baghdadi serving. It took all 
all the momentum off it. Here's some momentum right back. Bang, boom, off hands, out of play. And hands, I'm talking Seth Friesen. He had a chance at it. Ricochets off him. 5-1 lead here for the visiting Spartans. Derek Epp. Epp and the Spartans look to etch their name in the history books here, trying to win a fourth consecutive Canada West title here tonight on the move and on the run. Almost colliding together was Dixon and Friesen there. It's a free ball here oh. for the Spartans to look to take advantage. Oh, wow. Michi in the middle. Giving a free ball to a team like this is not a good idea. you got to do all that you can to not give them that kind of opportunity. That play happened so fast, I yeah, wasn't too I was sure who confused. even got the point. Yeah. But we know that it's the Spartans because Epp is still serving here. And the Spartans off to a strong start in the second. Their lead, 6-1. to one. That big daddy, Dixon, into the middle. Oh, fantastic. That Betcher was there to block the moose. Ooh. And that oh. one sent out of play by Friesen. 7-1. to one. Trinity Western yeah, and a timeout, a good point for a timeout is called. So here's the team stats from the regular season. Saw the Bobcats go 20 and two. Spartans were 18 and four. That was the records. Here's a look at the standings. There they are. Top two teams in the regular season. The final two teams standing here as the playoffs in Canada West come to a close. And let's take a look at the postseason bracket and find out how both teams got here. There you see Brandon, they beat Calgary, they beat Mount Royal. On the other side of the bracket, Spartans beat the defending champion T-Birds, then took out the Wolf Pack to set up this matchup here at the HLC. One game, winner take all. For the Canada West title. <laughs> All on the line. What could be better? Served by Epp. Ooh. Just a bit outside. Too spicy. Weir serves, dials it up, catching the far corner with precision accuracy, a surgeon's touch yeah, was... by Mr. James Weir. Call him Dr. Weir. Just placed right at the corner. Weir. Going for it again. Trying to go to a similar spot. Spartans were there waiting for it that time, though. Into the middle, then push down to the ground. Oh, no, no, yeah, carry ball. You can see that. You can see that, that one coming. Borderline, but that ref made a very quick call. He seems to be very sure on that. Well, the challenge now is to keep this consistent throughout the rest of the game. Once you start making those uh, those types of calls, you just gotta play it the same for the rest of the game. And lucky. Nope. Bobcats got off to a rocky start here. Yes. They trail eight to four. A little lapse in judgment here, and this is, it was 7-1. That was the biggest lead that we've seen so far this game. And Dixon serves, going down the sideline. At the other side, and oh, no, no. Ooh, freezing. Oh, he's got to I've never seen him do one. the finger wag before, but Ooh. he did it right there. Oh, yeah, I don't know if I like that. <laughs> And Dixon serves, going down the sideline again with that one. Back row, ah, wow. That was, that was a big time attack by Trinity. Coming in hot. No doubt about that one. Not much that Brady Nolte could do, just play some self defense. And that's a kill with a exclamation point. So the serve by Aaron Betcher. Handcuffed Nolte a little bit, backpedaling with it. Ooh. 
Getting it through the Spartan defenders was Baghdadi. Back on the Bobcats side. Dixon oh goes to his best buddy. Elliot Biles stopped there. They'll try the other side. Freeze and reaching, tipping it over. Spartans on the move, oh. on the go. Out it wow. goes. Really cool looking swing. Came in with authority, but couldn't quite find the sideline. And the Bobcats have it now. Within Down three. to three. Yeah. And it was, what, six? It was 7-1? Seven, 7-1, one? Seven, one, yeah. Friesen with the serve. Wow. They're Did a little bit of a dip there. at the end. And right into the middle they go. Jackson Howe. Fantastic middle. He is up and ready. Any chance he gets. I love seeing that in a middle player. And Jacob Kern had enough momentum. Hit the top of the tape. Hey, and in the middle they go for Mason Metcalf. Another day at the office for Metcalf. That's his comfort zone. Yeah. You don't see a lot of that in men's volleyball with the middle running behind. For some reason, it seems to be more of a women's volleyball play. But uh, it is working for the Bobcats. Metcalf serve. Quick Ooh. put away. That's quick Flint. picking by Tara Kapp. That high volleyball IQ of his coming in nice and handy. 11 Spartans, seven Cats. So Brody Hofer. Ready, takes aim, and he fires at Baghdadi. Dixon, back where it started from with Baghdadi. Clever move by the Canada West Rookie of the Year. It's hard to believe he's a rookie and a first year player. He just plays with the composure of a you know, top level international player. Like it's just amazing to see. The serve by Lyles oh. in the middle. No good there. Bobcats oh, that one starting coming. to creep their way back into this thing. He said, no, sir. So it's Biles again, searching for more offense for his Bobcats. Two Spartans dip and dodge out of the way. Tactical timeout looming large, and it's the Spartans mm. in the driver's seat right now, looking to get to that destination first here in the second set. Dixon in in the middle. They went to the moose. There is the Manitoba boy, Steinbach's own Eric Lepke scoring. And number 17, Jackson Howe. He will be responsible for getting this thing over. Does win it, Nolt with it as it hit the top of the tape on the way by. Not going to get back over. Spartans pick up the point. serve. Went at Nolt. Dixon into the middle and oh. stopped. Wow. Solo block. One on one they go. And Trinity Western wins that showdown in the middle. Another serve by Trinity. Nolt. Dixon. Baghdadi. Still on the Brandon side. Oh. Biles, no choice. Spartans up on offense. That one out of play. It is out of here. Spartans, though, still sitting cozy here. The 15-10 lead in that tactical timeout is looming large. Baghdadi. Everybody gets nice and quiet for him. He's dug up by the Spartans. Oh. Right back at them. Guess who? That's Eric oh. Lepke again. Oh, and we got a... Net touch under the net. Violation. That looks like a home run. Oh, he did come under. So they're giving that point to the Bobcats instead. So we swap things on the scoreboard. 15-11 now. 
And Robin Baghdadi back to serve again. Oh. Baghdadi goes right at Bergen with it, who caught it. Right oh, back yeah. at you yeah. come the Trinity Western Spartans. <laughs> they score. And we're at the technical timeout of the second set with the Spartans out in front. Trinity Western Spartans coach Ben Josephson has landed a major international assignment. Josephson has been named an assistant coach with Canada's senior women's volleyball team, and a big goal lies ahead. Dream come true is exactly the statement. Chance to rep the leaf and wear your flag on your shirt, and uh, it, that, that's the dream come true. Uh, and get to coach the nation's best, and that's the dream is to qualify for the Olympics. And that's what we'll be working hard for. But uh, actually, since I got the, the position, uh, the next match when the Canada Anthem was played, I just had tingles go all up and down my body thinking about, you know, this summer I'm going to be standing with Team Canada hearing that anthem played, start the flag. Like, that thought was just overwhelming. Uh, I think as a, as a coach and athlete, the, that is the pinnacle of this sport and it's pinnacle of, uh, of yeah, the ambition is to get to represent your country on the international stage. So I just can't wait to get to work in May. Josephson is a two-time Coach of the Year in Canada West and U Sports. He's no stranger to the Maple Leaf, working with the Canadian senior men's team and the youth national squad. He was also on the coaching staff for the Canadian men's team that took part in two World University Games. And back to live action. There goes Friesen. He stopped oh, over, bump and drilled oh, home that. by James Weir. Yeah, congratulations to Coach Josephson. Opportunity to be a part of the Canadian coaching staff at the senior women's squad, and they're trying to get to the Olympics in a couple of years' time. Had a great conversation with Ben Josephson today. He should be a motivational speaker. Yeah, oh, <laughs> especially man. when it comes to volleyball. Yeah, he's... He uh, could go and go and go. He's got so much knowledge and information in that brain. So the serve by Weir, it's 16 to 12. Reaching oh. for it was Kern. Oh. Kept alive by the Bobcats, powering it through the Spartan defenders. Down it goes. Yes, sliding through the blockers' elbows. Yeah, that window of opportunity was almost cool. slammed shut. <laughs> yeah. That was a risky move. Got in there at the last second. Weir serves. On the move and on the run are the Spartans. Oh. Kern, With. corner, offense, scores. It's a kill. With authority. Deep corners, that's the way to go. 17-13. Spartans got off to a big start. 7-1 yeah. lead is what they built up here in the second. Here comes the serve. That'll help the Bobcats. Fourth-year setter, Reese Dixon's at the line here for the Bobcats. Trying to get BU closer here. And serve went to Bergen. Whoa! Wow. That is a fast offense. Hard to get two blocks on that, but you should not leave one-on-one -on, -one on the pin there because they are just taking advantage of that. When it comes to Kern, I've said wow a lot, yes. but I, you know. <laughs> it is. Definitely That's required. the key word with him. Yeah, it is impressive. There goes Viles, swinging away at it, diving at it are the Spartans. Tracking it down was Hofer. It's over on the Bobcat side. Looking one way, going the other way was Dixon, who went to Viles. Here's a swing by oh. the Spartans. We got a whistle on the play. So Friesen serves, float serve. It's caught by Trinity. Back where it started oh. from, Brody Hofer gets it to go. That's a veteran move there. Solid block, go up strong, casually swing off the block. It looks casual, but it's hard to do. <laughs> Here's Kern with the oh serve. Boy. Right smack dab in the middle of that net. The stream, the difference for the Bobcats here. 19 for Trinity and 16 for the Cats here in the second. And Jake Fleming will check in. Got a very important serve to take care of here, I'd say. 
And that serve is up and over. Running offense is Trinity, flipping it back, and scoring again is Kern. The far corner, he loves that spot. He just loves it. No matter where he's swinging from, he's finding that. That comes from hundreds and hundreds, even thousands of reps. And Hofer lets it go Ooh. from the line. I thought he'd hammer it. Cooled his jets oh, there. Buddy home. That sails out of play. 21 to 16 here. Ooh. Trinity Western Spartans. Starting to pad that lead here. We're 20 and up now on the Spartan side of the scoreboard. That serve when that freeze and oh, Dixon man. from his knees <laughs> went to weir with it. Nice and high. Lepke lets it fall right into his lap. Gets it through the Brandon block. That window of opportunity was so small. So but he's an expert small. at scoring is Eric Lepke. And we just saw the reason why. championship that the Bobcats have captured was back in 2013. They're looking to add to that list. For the Spartans, they've won five championships <laughs> overall in Canada West, including three in a row, 2018, 2017, 2016, the other ones, 2012, and 2007. Back to live action here. Hofer puts it into the net. They got a sub. The pride of Gladstone, Chase Warkington, will check in here. Let's do the math here how tall that front row now is all of a sudden here for the Bobcats as Chase subs in off the hands of Weir. Warkington was there. Biles bumps it up. Back row attack by Friesen. Reaching for it was Bergen. Here's a back row punch. Weir. Biles. Oh. Dug up by Kern. They'll try the other side. And scoring was Eric Lepke. Oh boy. I don't like seeing this. And it was weird that hit the floor. That's the last thing that we want to see in this high stakes match is an injury to anyone. Exactly. Well, let's just take a look here as James comes off the court here. Travis Walls will be oh. coming in here. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. That went right underneath his ankle. Ouch. But you know what? Fortunately, as we take a look at him, he's not getting helped off the floor. No, but that was, you that know, was a bend you don't want to see on that replay. So the fifth-year co-captain, James Weir, will hopefully shake this off and get back out onto the floor. I mean, these teams both are heading to nationals in a week, so there's a, a lot of volleyball left to be played. So there's a balancing act for each player. It's not as if you just strap it up and go for it. Like, there's still a lot of games left in this season. Well, Lauren, you hit the nail right on the head for sure. And, you know, the, no doubt a lot of wear and tear already. Oh, and for sure. Yeah. There's no better quality guy than James Weir, I'll tell oh, you that. And he is quality. Had a chance to meet his dad last weekend. And a great family. There's no two ways about that. Mm -hmm. So we'll keep an eye on that. Let's go back to live action here with Howe serving. There's a swing by Baghdadi, and it's dug up. There's Curry. Off hands, out of play it goes in a hurry. It's 24 to 17. 
see the Bobcats have used one of their usual middles as a blocking sub for Reese Dixon. So they, uh, in this set anyway, don't have a lot of options when it comes to the middle. Miles getting creative. His target, open floor, and he found it. So the Bobcats fight off one set point. The Spartans up 24 to 18. Robin Baghdadi prepares to serve here. And here comes that serve by Baghdadi. It's caught by the Spartans. Lepke lets it fly. Drills it home, and we are all tied up in this Canada West Championship match. Bobcats won the first set. Spartans taking the second by a score of 25 to 18. Australian standout Elliot Biles is Canada West MVP. He finished second in the conference in hitting percentage and cracked the top 10 in kills per set. He's the first Bobcat to be named player of the year since fellow Aussie Paul Sanderson won the award in 2009-2010. It's just a surprise and a shock right now to be honest. Uh, I wasn't expecting it at all so uh, definitely an honour and uh, there's been so many great players to win the award and there's so many great players in the league so yeah just uh, shocked and very honored. The top rookie in the conference is Swiss star Robin Baghdadi. He was third in Canada West in hitting percentage and finished fourth in service aces per set. I never thought about winning an award. I always thought about winning as a team and that was our goal and it's still our main goal for the season. Hometown product Seth Friesen has earned the Student Athlete Community Service Award. He excelled in three areas, volleyball, academics, and community involvement. Definitely had great support from, you know, everybody around. It starts with my family, my parents. Uh, supported me so much throughout my time here and uh, very understanding coach uh, with uh, my academic uh, no ambitions as as well as their understanding profs with my athletic ambitions, it goes both ways. So I feel like everybody here at BU is just kind of uh, committed to helping students get where they want to go, and I've had a uh, really great support. Grant Wilson has been recognized as Coach of the Year for the second time. He first won the award in 2014-2015. He led his hometown Bobcats to a first-place finish in the conference standings for the first time in program history, going 20-2 and overall. Brown University has been a, a big part of the community for quite some time and there's been a lot of success before us and uh, we're definitely trying to add to that and you know you can just tell that uh, the community really hops on board and you know the last couple of games you know 1400 plus fans in here cheering us on and just seeing the support in the community when you're out and boat in the street really means a lot. Yep, that was the major awards recap for Canada West men's volleyball. And how about those Bobcats, a perfect oh, four just, for four. It really is unbelievable. These Bobcats have had a stellar year. It's really fantastic to see. Well, this has been a whale of a match so far, and we're all tied up now. Bobcats won the first set, 25-23. They hit 320 in that first set. But how about the Spartans replying Lauren in that second set? They hit 407 to win it 25-18 and they got out of the gate red hot, hot as a pistol. 7-1 lead to start that second set. Well, I would expect nothing less of a team of this caliber. Like I uh, was surprised mid-season to see these games go 3 nothing. Both both games um, and as you said before Tyler, both teams are saying, well, don't even think about that. This is completely different. And I was definitely expecting whichever team would win the first set would probably lose the second because these teams are too good to just post through this game. So the third set is upon us. And it's Baghdadi serving out of the gates for the Bobcats. Tracking it down was Epp, and he sets up Lepke with it. Biles for the Bobcats. Oh, the face. <laughs> yep, off left key out of play. It goes, and the Bobcats grab the opening point. Baghdadi. 
Takes all the speed off and over. Oh. Bump. Going long distance. The score was Seth Friesen. Bobcats lead by two. Yeah, they definitely will not want to repeat the beginning of last set. I'm sure they want to come out firing. Same as the Spartans. The bag daddy. Calm and cool. Loads up the cannon. Back where it started from oh. with Lepke. Wonderful swing on the left side. And it'll be Jackson Howe. For the Spartans. And Howe's serve finds the hands of Baghdadi. Dixon flips it to Viles. It is dug oh, up. Oh, so wow, good. great defense into the middle. They went with James Weir. And we got to mention that, of course. Weir left late in the second set. Back out on the floor. Great to see and mm. seems to be moving along just fine. So, Howe serving, and we're all tied up at twos. Dixon, Viles, yes! Ooh. You'd have to have a steel cage down in that bullpen area, put James in there, and <laughs> yeah. swallow the key to that cage oh, in yeah. order to keep him from not... It would take a lot to keep him up the there. That one floats too far. I don't know what we're far... Just looking at the service errors. Wow, it's kind of, I mean, 16 service errors in two sets. That's a lot. Too much. Now just a little bit noisy in here for these guys, so. I mean, I do understand wanting to serve tough to cut down the options for your opponent. So Baghdadi loaded that one up. Dixon will try freezing this time. <laughs> Off the forearm of Brody Hofer. He was in hot pursuit, but not quite. And Dixon serves. A sidewinder that goes out of play right at the last moment. And it's Eric Lepke to serve. Canada West first team all-star. From Steinbach with the serve. Bumped up by Dixon. Oh, that's hard to hit. Reaching for it was Elliot Viles. He gets a second chance at it. Off the hands of Lepke initially. Here goes Kern. Dixon. Viles. Stop. That was Still all going. off the hands of Kern. They'll try Viles again. And Stop that time as well. Colliding was Knowlton Bag Daddy. Back on the Brandon side again. Can freeze and score. He does. defense from both teams keep that ball alive. Excellent blocking by the Spartans, not letting the BU Bobcats score it easily at all. So, Seth Friesen looking for some more offense at the service line. Went to Hofer on the serve. Back where it started from. Hofer reaching, trying to push it through the defenders. He'll try it again. Out it goes. No. Spartans thinking there might have been a little contact along the way. Well, 6-4, but it feels like we're in the 20s already in this set. It is tense and very competitive. Back row. Oh, how? And they score. That is amazing, that connection with the pipe. Lepke, he is a warrior. There's no two ways about that. Just goes up and goes for it. Aaron Betcher got the playoff beard going. Serves when it freezes. Dixon back where it started from the freezing. <laughs> Spartans will keep it alive here. Stays on the Spartan side. They'll go to the middle and they score. Oh, the call on a oh. carry ball. Well, look at that. The range of emotions here. It up, down, like a roll left, percent. right. Crowd is invested. 
Spartans thought they had it. So did I. But it's 7-5 Cats. Mason Metcalf with the serve. Went at Hofer with it. In oh. the middle. No doubt about that Such one. Such an athletic middle. Really By Jackson amazing. Howe. Jacob Kern. But the packed house behind him. You can see the crowd. He serves. Ooh. And it's ooh, almost kept alive by Dixon. Off oh. the net. And, oh, wow. Oh. Not sure what's happened here now. That was unusual. What happened there, Lauren? Uh, it looks, I think to the ref, it looks like the player touched the net. And he was just kind of looking at touching the ball through the net. But it might have just been the ball touching the net. But really the rule is if you are standing in the front row and you don't make a move towards the, the ball, if the ball comes through you and touches the net and then in turn makes you touch the net, it is not your, you're not at fault. But if you make a motion towards the ball through the net, then uh, the ref is allowed to do as he pleases. So that's a really unusual call. Two-point lead for the Cats after that turn of events. Serve went at Lepke. Hofer takes aim. Out she goes. Crowd is into it tonight. Every point they're erupting louder than the last. Nine Bobcats, six Spartans. The match for the championship all tied up, and that serve is no good. So Hofer has got the power in his hands here. It's 9-7. Wide range of emotions here, I tell you. They're, we've seen a little bit of everything tonight, and it's only the third set, and that one's into the cage. Well, I think when you have a game like this with what's on the line, you've got to put everything in it. And you're going to see, as a crowd, you're going to see so many different things. And it really is delivering. It's quite a spectacle. Three-point lead here for the Bobcats in the third. Baghdadi loads Ooh. it up. Hofer somehow kept it alive. Oh. Diving at it was Viles. Back on the Spartan side into the middle. That's a cutter. Oh, what a good swing. And it's picture perfect on the replay. Check it out. Wow, wow. that's an amazing yeah. swing. Brandon doesn't often face teams that have uh, such strong middle, so it's showing. And Ooh. Friesen right back at you. 11-8 for the Cats. <laughs> so James Weir back to serve. We saw him limping off the court there in the second. Everybody was holding their breath, but he's back, and he's serving for the Bobcats. Lepke huh. over the top oh, of the block, man. but pancaked and kept alive by Biles. Here's Kern. Out she goes. Wow, some persistent defense from the Bobcats being rewarded with a hitting error. So, so here we go. We're talking about the major award winners. There's the rookie of the year, Robin Baghdadi, the Swiss cyborg. And look at those stats, Lauren. He did a fantastic job. 19 years old, this kid. Unbelievable. When I was 19, I couldn't even tie my shoes and shoot <laughs> bubble gum at the same time. And this guy's moved uh, cross country. And let's take a look at the top 10. Sorry, Lauren, we no got to get this one in here. There's the men's volleyball top 10. Bobcats. 20 and 2 to lead the charge and 4 and 1 in the postseason. Bobcats have been ranked number one for quite some time now, and they're are their postseason opponent here in the final, Trinity Western. And Elliot Viles. As we go back to the major mm -hmm. award winners, Elliot Viles, your player of the year Amazing. in the conference. So all kinds of good stuff. We got the top ten and two out of the four major award winners that the Bobcats had earlier this week. So Lots of good news for the Bobcats. And there's some good news right out of the timeout. Betcher delivers for his Spartans. 
I know myself going from a moving across the ocean and playing in a new country, uh, the first year is often quite an adjustment and uh, it's hard to thrive in that kind of new environment. But um, Robin Bag Daddy is just an amazing job of coming into this environment and dominating. So a bump, a swing, and a score. Wow. You know, hey, the way that that was kind of drawn up there, kind of looked like a last-ditch effort there at the end, but yeah. the Spartans are able to score. And Epp with the serve, went at Baghdadi with it. It is bumped up by Noel, taking aim and firing. Oh. Is Elliot Viles, Vito Som, MVP. There's only been one other Bobcat to be MVP in the conference. That was 2009, 2010. It was Paul Sanderson, fellow Australian. Sir by Dixon, reaching for it was Lepke, kept alive by Biles. Dixon into the middle for Metcalf. Bergen dove at it to keep it alive. There's Kern, he stopped. Great defense by the Spartans. Going to be a Joseph, oh, the, net. the net. And it's a Bobcat point. That was a close call there. Oh, both players were going at the ball very close to the antenna. Dixon serves, oh, and oh, wow, effort. what a great play by Carter Bergen. He dove to keep it alive. Biles right back at them. Oh. He scores. Fist pumps all the way around oh. for the Bobcats. What an amazing save by Sparks and Libero. And the official hustles on over to clear up a little moisture on the floor. Probably be a big, big wipe. They've wiped it down. Here we go. <laughs> Bailey's got his drum down below us here. Getting the crowd into it at 15-10. Technical timeout of the third. It's almost here for the Bobcats. They're in the driver's seat. Lepke, Baghdadi, Dixon, Viles. Oh, out of town. Yep, cuts it too far. Out it goes. Oh, you don't have to be perfect when you're going for the line because there's a big margin of error on the right side. Eric Lepke will get ready to serve here. 15 Bobcats, 11 Spartans here in the third. Lepke lets it fly. Noltz got it. Dixon, oh, fireball. Vapor trail behind it. 16 to 11, and we are at that technical timeout here in the third. There's that look at that replay. From the moment he started that approach, you could tell that was going to be a success. He meant business. And there he is, Grant Wilson, coach of the year in Canada West. Led his Bobcats to a 20-2 regular season record, finishing in first place in the conference for the first time in program history. Grant now a two-time winner of the award. He also wow. accomplished that feat in 2014-2015. This is GW's seventh season. As head coach of the Bobcats, been a part of the program since day number one, and nobody works harder on campus than oh, yeah. Mr. Wilson. Yeah. And as a program, the Bobcats are fairly late to the game compared to some of these other big schools in Canada. I think early 2000s? Late 2000s, maybe? And, uh, yeah, they've done some amazing things in that short history. So we're coming out of that technical timeout here in the third. The match tied. Canada West title on the line. Healthy Living Center packed to the rafters. And it's hometown product Seth Friesen, the former Vincent Massey Viking. 
serving. Went at Hofer with it. Back row attack. That goes off of Brady Nolte's noggin. He's going to need a second. And that one is gone. Oh, man. As we take a look at the replay here, right bang. the top of his head. Ouch. And Bobcats are taking a beating here. Freezing. Rest Metcalf, in. Dixon, Viles, Baghdadi over there to check on Brady Nolt. Of course, in the second set, we saw James Weir head off. Bob, and now hurt. it's Nolt that... I don't even know if he's able to see at this moment, but he's, he's playing. Brady Nolt, like Rocky Balboa, taking a knockout shot by Ivan Drago. Oh. And that handcuffs Nolt. Oh. And I'm sure Nolte's got to be seeing some cobwebs here. 16 to 13. Here's another one of my favorites. <laughs> Student Athlete Community Service Award for Seth Friesen. Works so hard in the community. Volunteers with BBC, Brandon Volleyball Club. And his An academic IQ... Movie? Career academic all Canadian. He's extremely smart. Oh, and that's putting <laughs> it mildly. Uh, yeah, he's in a league of his own. And so he's done. And it's hard to be a student athlete, and it is hard to uh, succeed in both areas. You got a mathematical equation? Yeah. You want to know the meaning of life? You yeah. talk to Seth Friesen, and you'll find out the answers to all those things and more. <laughs> yeah. He's a walking encyclopedia. And we've had a chance now to look at all four major award winners for the Bobcats. You also saw that video package that we had as well earlier in the telecast. So serving is Betcher, and Betcher dials it up again. He's deja vu all over again. And the Spartans down by two here. Bobcats don't have a lot of breathing room here. It doesn't take long before someone's at 20. And Betcher lets it fly. Had enough momentum to carry over, but it skimmed the top of the tape. There you go. The Swiss sideboard collects a precious point for the Bobcats. Three-point lead here for BU. Metcalf with the serve, went at Hofer with it. Back row attack off the hands of Dixon, oh, diving at it. Goodness. It was Metcalf reaching and scoring. No, he was over. What an athletic move by Mason Metcalf playing defense in the back row. But it's not going to do the job. Yeah, the Bobcats got in that danger zone. Can't go over that line. Got a substitution here for the Spartans. Cameron Slump is in. Slump with the serve. At Nolt. Dixon checks his options. Goes to Bag Daddy. Battle at the Ooh, net. Got a dance. Slump. Lepke sending it over. Bobcats looking to score. And are they going to be able to do that? Oh, oh, my goodness. oh, wow. Crashing into the crowd here at the HLC was Hofer. Sacrificing his body on that one, reaching for it, trying to score. It is Nolte. It is Dixon. Oh, and unbelievable Amazing. defensive play by Bergen to keep it going. This rally is really starting to pick up momentum. Moose tries to end it. No. Dixon flips it back to Viles. Stays on the Brandon side. Dixon goes long distance oh. to Bag Daddy. And it finally oh. ends. says, are you guys okay? Is everything all right down there? A gentleman and the uh, heart of a champion yeah. is hope for number five for the Trinity Western Spartans. He's going to get a chance to swing away. Yes. Noel diving at it. Forearm on it. Bumped over by Freeze and Bergen's there. Here goes Hofer again. Uh-uh. Oh. 19-15 for the Cats. I feel like Bobcats have a bit of confidence here after 
to his last few points, but mammoth effort from both sides of the net. Well, I've never seen anything quite like this. This I can fantastic tell you that. volleyball. This is... Next level. And dialing it up, hands up in the air. They just bring it, 2015. Viles with the service, ace. And it's 2015, and we've got a timeout called. Well, here's another award for the Swiss Cyborg. Wow. Yeah, Here Robin Bag Daddy, there he is, right smack dab in the middle. He was the Canada West second star of the week, was Robin Bag Daddy, 19 year old rookie sensation for the Bobcats. He was named the conference's rookie of the year, and then he also adds the second star of the week to his trophy case. And Bag Daddy was phenomenal in that semifinal win for Definitely. the Bobcats. And Definitely. I wish I had that final play because when everybody went into the huddle to celebrate, there yeah, he was, overcome with emotions, with the knowing, you know. Yeah, yeah. How far this team has come and well, what I also where they're appreciate going. about him, he just seems like a professional. He doesn't seem to get caught up in that emotional highs and lows of the game. He's very well composed during the rallies. It's a, a really amazing thing to see of a 19-year-old. His demeanor on court. Well, Baghdadi went into this match, 64 kills to lead the Bobcats on offense here in the postseason. Whoa, that's, that's a nice middle swing. Yeah, meets you in the middle. That's how with the howitzer. Here it comes. So Brody Hofer. Excellent volleyball player and a gentleman as well as we've seen here tonight. 21-16. Defensive sub coming in for the Spartans. Now Colton Lowen, number 13, checks in here. And Robin Baghdadi. He's serving on point tonight. Baghdadi loads Ooh, up the cannon. Excellent pass. With that. Oh, who would think you'd be able to run a great middle off that serve? That was a really nice pass from the Spartans. Yeah, that was a heck of a defensive play oh, by yeah. Bergen. He needed the force field around him there to yeah. dig up that massive and serve. And control it so well. That was amazing. How serves on the move and on the run was Dixon goes to freeze and trying to power it through the defenders on the Spartan side. On offense goes oh. Trinity. And Biles would like to have that one back. He looks up to the heavens afterwards yeah. and knows he could have had that one. Oh, it's just a game of inches. One more inch of your body turned the other way, and that ball's playable in the court. And here goes Jackson Howe. Took a dip right at the end. Ooh. Oh, sneaky. Here goes Lepke with it, and oh. that goes off. All oh, kinds of Bobcats. Seth Friesen in hot pursuit. He hits the floor hard. A lot of wear and tear on the human anatomy here tonight. Oh, yeah, Seth could tell you all about it. 21-19 with a timeout from the Bobcats. So what do you make of these last few moments here, of this third set? This has been a wild match. Oh, like. and I doubt, I don't doubt that it's going to uh, be any different from here on out. I think... I mean, there's only a few points difference between these two teams right now, but it feels very even and very competitive. There's a lot of volleyball left tonight, Tyler. And great work in the camera. Oh, it's just fantastic. Through there, guys. All these Excellent angles. job. Yeah, just wonderful work. Fantastic. Yeah, everybody in the truck's done a great job putting on a, a lot of buttons to press to keep real special broadcast. Program. We've been working kind of day and night to put this whole show together, and it's uh, doesn't go unnoticed, guys in the truck and, and on the floor with the cameras. So great job working your way through that onslaught of people down there. 21-19, Friesen takes aim. Woo. It's off a of how tight no at the net. Deal. That antenna got in the way. Yeah, it was a real close play there. Lepke was right in the mix. So heading back to serve 
is Mr. Jake Fleming. And Fleming's serve goes at Lowen. Left key. Double brick wall by the Bobcats. 23-19. What a point. And some more Gotta make liquid fun. on the ground there. So this is safe. Crowd doesn't think it's a legitimate reason. You can but. hear it. When he put his shoe there, you can hear the squeak, yeah. squeak. Oh, yeah. It's there. It sure is. And I'm sure these players are very sweaty from working so hard. We've had some close calls already with guys getting banged up a little bit. We don't need nothing happening here. So the serve. On the Spartan side, into the middle they go. And trying to track it down was Fleming, but no. One or two steps behind that ball. All right, both teams now in the 20s. 2023 to the Bobcats. And it's Epp with the serve. Gone on over. Dixon into the oh. middle for Metcalf. Taps it on over. Velvet hands of Mason oh. Metcalf. Brings his team to 24-20. And here we go. A potential set point could be on the way here as the crowd. Lenoise. It is electrifying oh. here at the HLC tonight. Reaching for it, no. trying to pancake it. No. Not this time. That's Kern again. Keeps chalking up the points. Yeah, he's confident out there. Love it. That's what you need. You need to show with your body language and the way you're playing that your teammates can have confidence in you. And I see that from so many players on the Spartan side. And Lepke loads it up, and it's gone. And the Bobcats. the Bobcats leading this match two to one with the Canada West Championship on the line. Well, family ties and finishing on a high note, they were the top highlights in February for the Bobcat Athletes of the Month. A special guest was on hand for Elliot Viles to receive his award as Male Athlete of the Month for February at Smitty's Sportsline Lounge. His mom, Michelle, has traveled in from Australia and has spent the past three weeks in Brandon. It's nice, nice for her mom to meet all these people and, and see sort of the, the accolades that have sort of been coming in these, this past week. But uh, yeah, it's just been good to see her for the last couple of weeks. There's been plenty for Michelle to cheer about. Elliot helped the Bobcats finish in first place in the conference standings last month for the first time in program history. Following the regular season, Brandon won playoff series over Calgary and Mount Royal to reach the Canada West final. It's a definitely a different atmosphere her uh, watching live at the HLC and getting to see uh, the amazing fans that we have and how much they support us. So she's really enjoyed that and I've really enjoyed uh, having her around and again to be able to see me play. Meanwhile, Nicola Majewski was named Female Athlete of the Month. February saw Majewski play her final matches in a BU uniform. She started the month with a 25 kill performance to break the previous Bobcat record she held for most kills in a single match. Majewski is the program's all-time leader in kills and points. What was the ultimate highlight? I think obviously winning our last game. That was so exciting. You know, we go through that whole season just grinding and, you know, hoping and playing our hearts out and we never were ending up on top. And then finally to have that last win was just cherry on top of a great five years. Yeah, it was sure nice to see Elliot's mom. Oh, yeah. That's got to mean a lot to him, especially playing in front of a foreign crowd. Having your, your own mummy there to cheer you on, that's, that's something special. Well, hey, he gets some good stuff from Smitty Sportsline Lounge. He better be oh. treating his mom to, yeah, you'd have to some breakfast or something like that. 
So we saw, wow, there's three fantastic sets to this okay. point, Lauren. Just next level, really quality volleyball here. And everybody's getting ready to get back out onto the floor here. What's been a, well, we've used the word wow, we've used the word electric, we've used the word charismatic, we've, but it's hard not use to. All the adjectives it's hard not to repertoire. use those words. I know, it's just. Because that's what it is, that's what we're feeling here. It is impressive, it is fun, it is exciting. Yep, that's what's at stake there, Canada West Championship, and here we go, the fourth set. As we look at the stats now in that third set, the hitting percentages of each team have evened out, and it's not so much of a disparity between the two. But uh, the uh, Spartans have quite a few service errors at 14 compared to Bobcats 8. But, I mean, they're making it up. They are out digging the Bobcats. There are 31 digs, Bobcats at 25. So they are playing some serious defense here tonight. So Bobcats lead it. Two to one, Canada West Championship is at stake. Bobcats, oh. they're one set away from their second ever league title. Their first came in 2013. Trinity wants to go the distance here. Push it to five. Spartans have won three in a row. They want to make it four in a row here tonight. Oh, so much on the line tonight. A lot to play for for both teams. Spartans can make it four in a row. First time since 91-94 when the Calgary Dinos oh. achieved that mark. Kern sends it over. Viles, Dixon, back pedal, sets up. What? Bag Daddy. Brandon's lead is two here in the fourth. And Mason Metcalf serves it. Down the middle to Hofer. Kern loads oh, it up. That's a good swing. So Spartans got their first point of the fourth. Of course, both of these teams will be heading to Quebec City next week to compete in the national championship, but They'd love to go in there as Canada West champs. Nolte, high pass, Baghdadi picks it up. He's off the hands of Bergen. Kern sends it over. This is a free ball here for BU. Nolte, Baghdadi, Whoa. brick wall. And Aaron Betcher's fingerprints are gonna be indented onto that ball after that massive block. A little bit of uh, tense moments between the two teams there after that ball went down. I think both teams are starting to feel the, the emotion of the game. Now well, they're pouring their heart out. Oh, yeah. Leave it all on the line tonight. I mean, they're playing for rankings internationals next year. And uh, oh, get it. Viles hustles, tracking it down. Bumped over by Weir. Here's Bergen. There's Epp to Kern. Mm. Drilled. Scoring is the Spartans. Just like that. Snap your fingers yeah. and Trinity's got a 3-2 lead. Yeah. Don't look away, folks, because it changes every second. And Epps serves when at Friesen. Dixon into the middle for Weir. And the oh, Spartans out. Out. crashing Quit. right into the crowd. That was a little scary for one of them. Appreciate the defensive efforts from the Spartans. Yeah, it was up there trying to say sorry for bumping into the little guy down there, but what do you do? I mean, oh. technically the playing area is where the uh, these dividers are and uh, I mean, then it becomes gray area. If you want to make a leaping play, um, but these people are able to sit right there. So Vile serves into the middle. They go for Betcher. Bumped up and over. On offense, go the Spartans. Oh! Climbing the step ladder, climbing the skyscraper. Let's call it that. Betcher, bang.
Lepke back to serve here for his Spartans. Baghdadi bumped up, and there's a swing by Baghdadi. It's dug up by Bergen. Back row oh. attack oh. off yeah. Noel's hands, and out of play it goes. Just unleashes on the ball. Everything seems to happen so quickly with him. That's incredible. Trinity's up five to three. And Lepke low, oh, can't get it over. No. So Baghdadi's back to serve here. One point separating the two combatants here in the fourth. And the serve by Baghdadi is a goner. Aaron Betcher. This is definitely, obviously, the set of the Bobcats want to win. They don't want to go to five because anything can happen in five. And um, Betcher serves it at Baghdadi. Dixon, Friesen. Kept alive by Trinity. Ooh, oh, fake. Kern tried to put it away. And Lepke got creative there. He tried to trick us all here. Back row attack. Just dynamic as he, a player. He is not fooling around. No, that was a business. bullet. Amazing. That no doubt leaves a dent in the floor here. Yeah, let's see what the Bobcats have to answer that. You've got to get a plunger to get that dent out. Betcher serves, had enough momentum to carry over. One on one in the middle between the Moose and How. Lepke, right in the offense is F. Goes to Hofer. And it's almost automatic when you go to Brody Hofer in that situation. And the Spartans' lead is eight to four. And we have a timeout. Inside the Bobcats huddle here. Trinity Western wanting to go the distance here for the Canada West title. And we've seen the Spartans come out strong here in the fourth. Eerily similar to what they did in the second set. Mm, very, very similar. Spartans had a strong start in the second set. And continue through to win that one. So Betcher. Serves it at Baghdadi. Tight at the net. Dixon tried to dump it. Here's Hofer. Nice slow down at the net. Dixon trying to pick his spot. Oh! That was a stop. That was how. No and Kern. Go. Combo blocked by Trinity Western, and their lead is extended to 9 to 4. Ooh. And the serve. Diving at it was Nolt. Dixon looking for offense hey, through freezing. Right through. A little bit of change up in tempo. Catch the blockers off guard. And James Weir with the serve. Went at Hofer with it. Back where it started from. Off Weir, out of play it goes. 10 for Trinity, 5 for the Bobcats. And Jacob Kern. Sets up the serve and dials it up from long distance. Another very dynamic play for the Spartans. Kern's got a good long distance plan. Ooh, another timeout. 11 to 5 in favor of the Spartans. 
So we know that both of these teams are going to be off to Quebec City. The Laval Rouge et Or will be hosting the National Men's Volleyball Championship. And there is Laval in at the number three spot in the nation. Bobcats have been there for a while now after going 20-2 and two in the regular season. Trinity Western in at that number two spot. Mountain Royal Cougars, who were here last weekend for the Canada West semifinals, Couldn't in at the number in four. There. Yep, yeah. they'll be at the national championship, most likely barring something that right. odd that might take place. And you had right. McMaster, Alberta, UBC, Sask, Thompson Rivers, and Windsor rounding out the top ten. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it's going to be on, I think, Sunday, I think. Yeah, I think it's a final game. Yeah. Is when the seedings, I think, and everything would be announced. Oh, the sun, I see yeah. what you mean, right? Yeah. But that will not find that kind of stuff out here in the next few days. So oh. Biles going down the sideline, a heat-seeking missile. That is through the eye of the needle. And Reese with the serve. Bumped back into the court. Lepke swings, got it through the triple block. Wow. Miles got a piece of it. Dixon, no choice to send it over. Here we go with a free ball. Rising to the occasion is Jackson Howe. Uh, he had some serious hops on that one, Lauren. He's been doing his jumping jacks, that Jackson. And he found the right... Uh, corner of the court that is hard to defend when it comes to the middle. Hofer with the serve. Dixon. McCaff oh, in the middle trying to track it down. And Carter Bergen doing a belly flop trying to keep that play alive. Yeah, Bobcats got a few points to make up here. Need to get a wriggle on. And Friesen serve. Is that Carter Bergen? One oh. on one. Curran was there, Metcalf was in there. The two going toe to toe. And at the end of the day, it's a Spartan's point as that falls to the floor. 13 7. And Howe serves it at Nolt. Okay. And Betcher was waiting in the wings there for that one. He yeah. was there before the Bobcats were. We gotta come out with something different here. Yeah, Betcher could almost had a crystal ball and could yeah. see into the future there. And it's like he had a magnet on his head saying, come here to me. And oh. Robin Baghdadi, calm and cool. He puts that one away. Yeah. Nothing emotional about the point, he just gets it. Gets it done. And knows the Bobcats have got some work here. Mason Metcalf. His serve. On the move was Epp. And that's a big time block by the Bobcats. I don't breathe a bit of life into the Bobcats. That is a triple block, and it was all Elliot Biles, I do believe. And they're mopping it up again on the Trinity side. Bobcats slowly but surely closing that gap here with Metcalf back to serve again. Metcalf serve. It's on the Spartan side. It's been automatic with Aaron Betcher. Oh, it sure is. Automatic with the middles, both of them. For the Spartans, they go up and it's a point. No doubt about it. And Derek Epp, sweet 16 on the horizon for the Spartans. Dixon, bag daddy. Oh, there it is. Oh my goodness. Diving at it was Hofer. Great defense by the Spartans, and it leads to what offense. What is that? Good gravy. What a play by Trinity Western, Amazing. and they lead 16 to 9 at the technical timeout in the fourth. Whew. 
Trinity Western Spartans coach Ben Josephson has landed a major international assignment. Josephson has been named an assistant coach with Canada's senior women's volleyball team and a big goal lies ahead. The dream come true is exactly the statement. Chance to rep the leaf and wear your flag on your shirt and uh, it, that, that's the dream come true. Now I get to coach the nation's best and that's the dream is to qualify for the Olympics and that's what we'll be working hard for but uh, actually since I got the, the position uh, the next match when the Canada anthem was played I just had tingles go all up and down my body thinking about you know this summer I'm going to be standing with Team Canada hearing that anthem played stare at the flag like that thought was just overwhelming uh, I think as a, as a coach and athlete the, that is the pinnacle of this sport and it's the pinnacle of, uh, of yeah, the ambition to, to get to represent your country on the international stage so I just can't wait to get to work in May. Josephson is a two-time coach of the year in Canada West and U Sports. He's no stranger to the Maple Leaf, working with the Canadian senior men's team and the youth national squad. He was also on the coaching staff for the Canadian men's team that took part in two World University Games. Back to live action as we see that interview with Coach Ben Josephson of the Spartans. Bobcats picked up a point in the closing moments of that interview segment. Bobcats have a bit of work to do here coming out of the technical timeout. Oh, not quite. Things are happening so fast, oh, it's yeah. hard to pick it up sometimes, isn't it? Yeah. Especially men's volleyball at this level, it's so often a side out game where it's only one rally, uh, one swing and it's done. And that one's out the back door, down the alleyway. 17-11, set number four, Canada West Championship. And it's turning out to be an epic showdown between these Canada West men's volleyball titans. We've reached our moment here. Baghdadi serves at Bergen. Here's Hofer. Trying to get oh. delicate. Carried ball. That is a, uh, that's a really tough pull. Especially on the tip. Served by Baghdadi that went at Hofer. They go into oh. the middle for Betcher. Here's Friesen taking aim and firing. He scores. <laughs> this time from Seth. Swing high and deep, and you will get rewarded. That Bobcat bullpen, they're losing their minds down there <laughs> yeah. with each passing Bobcat point. And Baghdadi. Finds the net at an inopportune time. The Bobcats trying to mount a comeback here. And the Spartans slowly but surely starting to pull away here in the fourth. And it's Betcher who's been delivering all over the place for Trinity Western here tonight. Friesen fires. It's caught by Trinity. Out of town. Yeah, Hofer hammers that one out of play. Bobcats have got it down to four here. They're chipping away, but Trinity is keeping their cool. And the fifth-year co-captain, James Weir, with the serve. Went at Hofer with that serve. They're going to go back where it started from with Hofer. Ducking out of the way was Baghdadi. Good thing he did, otherwise his head might have been knocked right clean off his shoulders. And it's 18-15 as we head down the home stretch here in the fourth. Canada West standings, this is how the Bobcats did. They were 20 and two to finish in first place. Trinity Western Spartans are right behind them at 18 and four. The Cats wrapped up their regular season on a 16 game winning streak. The Spartans had won seven in a row heading into the playoffs. And then that led to the postseason. Brandon B. Calgary, Mount Royal, 
Spartan story. They knocked out the T-Birds, the defending national champions. Then they eliminated the Thompson Rivers Wolf Pack to come here to the HLC tonight. The entire postseason for the Bobcats has run entirely through the Healthy Living Center, and we have had, yeah, case in point right there, electrifying crowds here. We are with the serve. Took a little bit of a dip at the end. Backpedaling was F. There's Kern off the hands of Baghdadi. It's tight at the net. But he's still alive. They're going to get a chance at it. Lipke sends it sky high. Oh, swing. Oh, they score. How does that happen? What looked like a miss ended up being a score. Oh, that that's lucky. Just that got enough hurt. of it to move that ball enough to... Find a piece of open floor. That's that how it works. Rarely go your way. It's a lucky swing. Curran delivers at the service line. Oh, Biles flying oh, majestically head. through the air. He's the magic man. And the Bobcats Ooh. trail by one, two, three. As we take a look at the replay. Dixon searching oh. down the sidelines. Ready. They got the oh, towels out again. Tired of this move. I mean, you really have to keep it safe. It is very dangerous to play on a slippery surface, and these guys are working hard and they are sweating. The crowd wants to see some action. Somebody had a, one of those patented red oil drums. Reminds me of the family farm back in Glenora. There's the serve by Dixon again. Lucky blocked. <laughs> here to 19 to 18. And I wish I had a counter, Lauren, to find out how much the Spartans were up. Yeah. Uh, ooh, five, six points, I think, at one point. It was about 13-7 early on. And uh, Bobcats have been behind this whole set, been chipping away. Dixon serving again. He's got one ace. Does he have another one up his sleeve? Let's find out. Epp runs the offense, goes to Kern. That's Will to the floor by Kern of the Spartans. 2018. Over serves. That is <laughs> sky high. Avoids the beams here at the HLC. Uh, and then it's batted out of play. 21 18. That was very close to the roof and then very close to the line. All right. Here we go. Hofer Try serving. It on. Hofer loads it up. Nolt freezing. Biles. Kept alive. That was off Hofer. Tight at the net. Oh, what is that about? Trying to wedge his way. Oh. And they're calling that. this a Bobcat point. And I don't know how this happened. What are they seeing here, Lauren? Well, technically, it's the last person to touch it. And it did look like on the replay there, A touch. It did not come off the block of their hands, but that is a really hard call to make. Because in that time, I mean... <laughs> well, Brady Knoll tries to do an incredible Hulk kind of move and blasts oh, yeah, his way through sure the official was. stand and the pull to try and keep the play going. We love the heroics of the nature boy, Brady Knoll. Served by Friesen. Like a sidewinder right at the end there. Oh. Lepke delivers again for his Trinity Western Spartans. 22 to 19. And he got some 
Spartan color thunder sticks in the crowd. There yeah, is a good cheering a section for Lepke and his Trinity Western Spartans. Dixon, Bag Daddy. And oh, oh I think that went hustling pretty. again. Spartans pulling out all the stops here to go to five. The cutter, <laughs> far corner. Yes. Here's a taking a look at the replay. We got a substitution here. Fleming is in. He will be responsible for getting this one over. And the Bobcats have it down the two here. The intensity getting cranked up a notch or two here. In the final closing moments of the fourth. Here's Kerr. No, out it goes. Bobcats down by one. Oh, it is electric in here, Tyler. The crowd is going crazy. And not one timeout left for either no. side. They burned them all up here. It's all left out of the players now. Here's Epp serving. It's 23 to 20 here. Baghdadi gets a little contact on it. It works. It is down to two again for the Bobcats. They're trying to close this gap all the way here. Viles with the serve. Spartans trying to finish it off here. Oh my God. Kern, yes, sir. 24-21. And the fifth set is looming large here in what has been an absolute classic here at the Healthy Living Center. That's epic. Top two teams in Canada going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. What do you expect? Here's Lepke. Big time serve. Can he deliver? Bobcats stay alive. Dodging a bullet. to the Swiss cyborg to keep this four set going here. Baghdadi taking aim, he fires. Epp runs it, goes into the middle. It's worked for the Spartans all night long. Betcher, bang, it's down to the floor. 25-22, buckle up. We are going to a fifth and final set to crown our Canada West champion. The IG Wealth Management Bobcat Burt Cup is once again backing local causes on Friday, July 5th at the Wheat City Golf Course. Last year's tournament raised $29,000 for community initiatives. It was very successful last year, um, and uh, we know it's going to be successful again. It's uh, you know, something that we look forward to do with, in cooperation with other members of the community that are on our, our committee, and uh, you know, a way to, to, uh, to raise money for, for local causes that um, we can uh, partner with uh, from uh, Brand University Athletics. This summer, the Bobcats are supporting Special Olympics Manitoba Westman. It is amazing to have to be the recipient of that. Uh, the money that uh, that we'll receive will give the opportunity for athletes to be involved in more programs, uh, be more involved in the community and to be more active. You know, we all need to be active and it's important that everybody has an opportunity. A lot of our athletes are, are on social assistance or very underemployed, so this opportunity will just give them way more opportunities to be active in sport. A portion of the proceeds will also go towards the Deloraine Winchester Community Complex. The $3.5 million project saw a new hall and curling rink built in the community. The Bobcat uh, Golf Tournament is a great event for the university and uh, with your idea to disperse the returns to some of our smaller communities, it's an uh, excellent area to help some of us in these smaller communities out. Samaritan House is another charitable recipient. They provide roughly 20,000 food hampers to the community each year. 
So the project the money will be dedicated towards is making improvements in our warehouse so that we're able to park our vehicles inside and unload them. Uh, at present we're unable to do that because of some uh, vehicle ventilation issues and also uh, drywalling needs to be upgraded uh, to prevent fires and things like that. So The 2018 tournament was the first Burke Cup organized by the Bobcats after being run independently by BU Men's Hockey alum Scott Halady. Last year, 160 golfers and over 70 sponsors took part. Bobcats try to rally all the way back, Lauren, in that four set. How much emotion do you think they poured out on the floor to try to win it in four? in the tank, but I am hoping and praying for some exquisite volleyball like we've been seeing. And I would just like to point out, uh, we both had, th both of those teams were hitting above 300 that set. That is impressive. That is some good volleyball to watch for these teams to both be hitting so well. It is just a shootout here at the HLC. So Baghdadi serves to start the fifth. Into the middle they oh, go, amazing. kept alive by the Spartans, not quite. All right, every point counts in the fifth set. We're only going to 15 here, guys. Bobcats have got one, they need 14 more. And it won't be easy. No. It's going to be a hot break no matter what happens. <laughs> Both these teams are working so hard. Baghdadi serves it up. F runs the offense, goes to Kern, yeah. and in hot pursuit were the Bobcats. Doing a little downward dog over there, over the chairs. Yeah, the assistant coaches had to be careful there. Bryce Wilson, Dan Ashfield, Ed Zalewski, the whole crew had to be careful there. How serves. Off oh. Baghdadi, down it goes. We got a service ace by Jackson Howe. Howe serves at Baghdadi. There goes Dixon, here's Friesen. Bumped up by the Spartans. Epp runs the offense. Oh. Going around the defender and scoring. That was an unbelievable play by Lepke. Spartans lead here in the fifth, three to one. How serves. Friesen with the fireball, the vapor trail behind it. That. The Moose, James Weir, serves it into the net. 4-2 lead for the visiting Spartans. And it's up to Derek Epp. Takes aim, fires at the service line. Nolte Dixon back to Friesen. Gets creative. Then the fist pump by Friesen afterwards. The fire inside, as Bob Seeger once sang. Dixon on the run, and it hits the floor. Dialing it up from long distance. And we're all tied up at fours. Crowd's not too sure what to think. No, <laughs> they just want to see action. I don't mind it because it allows me to catch my breath yeah. up here. Yep. Dixon serving 4-4. Oh. Ofer got it. 
There's Kern. Still on the Spartan side. Kern will load it up again. There's Friesen. Dixon back where it started from with Friesen. It's sky high. Kern oh, will take another crack at it. Stopped again. Here goes Kern. Another chance at it. Metcalf with the pass to Viles. No. Oh, Hofer defense. puts it up. Bergen with the pass to Kern. Come on, come on. And out it goes. Unbelievable. What a rally on both sides of the net. Five for Trinity. Four for the Cats. Every point feels like the last point here. And Lefty with the serve. Hustling to track it down was Nolt. Friesen gets another crack at it. <laughs> that one's gone. Spartans run out of real estate here at the HLC. And it's 5-5. Five, 5-5, five. Five, five, two sets apiece, two timeouts left. This is where we're at. Friesen with the serve. Offense. Flipping oh. it back. Far corner. Precision accuracy. And Kern gets some big hugs from the Trinity Western teammates. A heroes embrace there as it's six to five. Spartans. Betcher at the serve. Dixon scouts the situation. Meets you in the middle. M squared. Mason Metcalf. And Metcalf, big time serve for the fourth year middle. It's way high, bumped up by Bergen. Free ball here for the Bobcats. Can they take advantage? They go to the Swiss sideboard. Oh. We got to stop. And it's a point for the Cats. The lead is seven to six now. It is getting louder and louder and yeah. louder here with Metcalf serving his team up by one. That one took a dip right at the end. Kern loads oh, it up. he loves it. <laughs> he is out. That was drilled points. right at Reese Dixon with authority. 7-7. Seven, seven. And Kern. Great work. Camera crew down on the floor. There's an alleyway that they're trying to find, and they're going to do just that. Good gravy, what a serve. Trinity leading the, leading the change of ends here. We're going to switch sides. Get Trinity right Western here. holding an 8-7 lead. We go 8-7 lead for the three-time defending champion, Trinity Western Spartans. Yes, the Canada West Championship is on the line. You can see the players on the floor. They've had it out there. You know what I mean? They are they are emotionally and physically spent here yeah. as this fifth set winds down. Kern with the serve. He's got one ace already here. Here goes the Swiss sideboard. Bag Daddy puts it away. Eight, eight. Oh, I said it before. Every point here feels like the last point. The crowd is reacting like no other. Biles serving. That is sky high. They'll try the other side. The Swiss cyborg again. And you can faintly hear it. The gong of the Undertaker <laughs> going off here Woo! at the HLC. Woo! The lights yeah, aren't going out. out. Oh, man, We're point. going up here. The momentum through the roof here at the HLC. The crowd feet with Bag Daddy putting up a massive block. Well, here we go. Bobcats, they got one. 
Canada West Championship to their credit. 2013. Are they going to add another one below that? We're going to find out here momentarily. How about this for the Spartans? What a story for them. Three consecutive Canada West Championships. If they win this match tonight, it'll be four in a row. And they'll match what the Calgary Dinos did in 1991 through to 1994 to win four consecutive Canada West Championships. This has been an unbelievable match. I've seen a lot of things in my day, but this one might take the cake. Oh, yeah. This is... It's unbelievable. It's really hard to explain the energy in the of the environment here at the HLC. Miles taking aim. He fires at Lepke with the serve. Here goes Hofer. Thought he'd hammer it. Send it over delicately. Here's a fireball that's a big bucket of cold water all over that one. 9-9. Nine, nine. So Brody Hofer, here goes his serve at Baghdadi. Dixon scouts the offensive situation. Goes back to the rookie of the year. 19 years old, this kid is. And that's what he is. He's just a kid. And he's got the walk and the talk. Just a teenager out there crushing the it. The play of a top level veteran. Level. Yeah. A grizzled vet, but he's not that. He's just a kid. The young gun serves it over at low and into the middle. Jackson Howe delivers again right. for his Trinity Western Spartans. Comes down to a game of five. And the crowd rising to its feet here with Howe serving. They go to Friesen. Down it goes. This is a battle of epic proportion. Both teams are just leaving it all on the line. 11 to 10. The race is now to 15. Fleming, game. biggest serve he's probably ever had right here. And we're all tied up at 11. I think that's the first one that he's missed all postseason. He's come on at 24 or at uh, tough spots like that. And first one that he's missed. Derek Epp trying to serve here. It's out. Dixon with the serve. It's a knuckleball that was caught by the Spartans. Kern goes one on one with Miles. We got a whistle. Point for BU. 13 11. Miss handle there by Kennedy. Timeout called for Kennedy. And we got a timeout here. Bobcats inching closer and closer to that prestigious. Canada West Championship. Here we go. Four major award winners. Elliot Biles, the player of the year for the Bobcats. First Bobcat to win the award since 2009-2010 when Paul Sanderson won the award, fellow Australian. Rookie of the year, Robin Baghdadi, the Swiss cyborg, 19-year-old kid. We also had Seth Friesen, student athlete community service award. Congratulations. And then Mr. Grant Wilson, coach of the year for the second time in his career. Seventh season with the Bobcats. Dixon with the serve. Offense go the Spartans. Lepke over the top of the block on the Brandon side. Biles flying through the air. Puts it home. Down to the floor it goes. 14-11. And the Bobcats are one point away from being crowned Canada West champs. They win it here. The roof is coming off this joint. It's Bob 
jumped up. There's Curry with the swing. Stays on the Spartan side. They'll try the other side. Off the hands. Diving on it was Dixon. And the play continues. Fighting off match point, championship point. Are these gritty heart and soul Trinity Western Spartans. Precious timeouts. Whew. That tension was at an all time high. Crowd on their feet. Can't even hear the whistle. Well, this is very special this to see special. this. You know, we work really hard here and. Um, it's so much work goes, goes into it. And, uh, you ought to see a season. crowd like this, Lauren. And yeah, such amazing support you. from the local community. Yeah, you hit the nail right on the head there. It's uh, yeah. uh, regardless how this thing match goes, it's been a beautiful final. And what? Just two fantastic teams on the floor. Top level volleyball. What a treat for these guys here. Serve went at Nolt. Metcalf passing to Biles, floating through the air majestically. Kept alive by Dixon, bumped up by Baghdadi. Biles flying. Stopped by the Spartans again. They'll look for more offense. And it's out of play. And the roof comes off this joint. The Brandon University Bobcats. They are Canada West men's volleyball champions. to the Bobcats and an absolute barn burner against the Trinity Western Spartans. Number one, number two in all of Canada going toe to toe here. And this crowd is absolutely roaring. And uh, an 15 to 12. Amazing Spartans game. fight off one championship point. Four set. Both these teams hit over 300. Oh. And we're going to head downstairs for the medal trophy presentation here at the Healthy Living Center. But they'll come back to us for the wrap-up. So much rhythm, grace, and heaven now for one man. Oh. And then he had to go to his left toe. But it was me, got the feeling in his head, y'all. Oh, come on, baby.
Once again, we'll ask both teams to line up along the baseline for player of the game and medal presentations. As part of the Canada West final, a player from each team will be recognized as a player of the game, which is brought to you by Macassa Canada. From the Trinity Western Spartans, the player of the game goes to number eight, Eric Lepke. And from the Bobcats, number seven, Seth Friesen. Next is our medal presentation, starting with the silver medalist, the Trinity Western Spartans. The roster for the Spartans is number one, Pierre Soshenko. Number three, Jesse Elser. Number five, Brody Hofer. Number six, Cameron Slump. Number seven, Ben Lewin. Number eight, Eric Lepke. Number nine, Riley Vandermeulen. Number 10, Caden Gamash. Number 11, Carter Burgeon. Number 13, Colton Lewin. Number 14, Aaron Betcher. Number 15, Jacob Kern. Number 16, Brennan Gardner. Number 17, Jackson Howe. Number 19, Jordan Kozlowski. And number 20, Derek Epp. The head coach is Ben Josephson. Assistant coaches Joel Jansen and Ben Ball. And now for your 2019 Canada West champions, your Brandon Bobcats. The roster for the Bobcats, number one, Brayden Such. Number two, Brady Nolt. Number three, Reese Dixon. Number four, Chase Workington. Number five, Jake Fleming. Number six, Nigel Tolley. Number seven, Seth Friesen. Number eight, Robin Baghdadi. Number nine, James Weir. Number 10, Elliot Viles. Number 11, Bryston Keck. Number 13, Samuel Jackman. Number 14, Rylan Metcalf. Number 15, Travis Walls. Number 16, Mason Metcalf. Number 18, Max Brook. Number 19, Liam Noir. And number 20, Nathan Dick. The head coach is Grant Wilson. And assistant coaches, Ed Zalewski, Brendan White, Dan Ashfield, Pat Thompson, and Chad Moyer. What a beautiful ceremony here to crown our Canada West champions, Brandon University Bobcats, as we go back up here to our broadcast table. Tyler Creston, Lauren, great job all season long. Yeah, season. he did such a yeah. wonderful job. And look at those smiling faces down there with those gold medals around their neck. Brandon University Bobcats, a five set gutter war against Trinity Western. And I tell you, both these teams are going to be going off to nationals. You very well might be seeing oh, yeah, this match up, again. Yeah. What a special night. I mean, both teams put in a Herculean effort. 
and it means so much to both of them. So I'm sure it's heartbreaking for the Spartans tonight. They have worked hard day in, day out, I'm sure. But the glory tonight goes to the Brandon Bobcats. They get to put this banner up in their gym. Yeah, there's the fifth year. Co-captains getting the opportunity to raise the championship trophy. Good gravy, what a beautiful celebration it is here at the HLC. Bobcats, Spartans, this was an epic, a classic showdown in every sense of the word. And the Bobcats victorious here, and they'll head into the national championship as the Canada West champs. Both the Bobcats and the Spartans will be heading off to Quebec City this upcoming week to go for the U Sports National Men's Volleyball Championship. So that does it for our broadcast here from the HLC. Everybody in the truck, camera crew, fantastic job all season long. Good gravy, we had a great broadcast <laughs> tonight. And it ends with a bang, the Bobcats Canada West champions. Thanks for joining us. the biggest match the Brandon University men's volleyball team has ever hosted. The opponent, a program that sets the bar high, the Trinity Western Spartans, clashing like two titans, but there can only be one winner.